Hello everyone and welcome to today's Python topic. Today I'll be going over input and output, input being input, output being print. Uh, this is a syntax that Python recognizes it as, so input and print, as you can see I have it typed out over here. Um, input and print, um, best way I could describe it is input uh, takes in an input from a user, so it also asks, or it can prompt the user with some text or a string, integer, I'll be um, explaining that a little more, but uh, an input will take uh, input from a user and print will print out something to the user, that being um, a, a variable, um, integer, string, float, anything like that. So let's get started. Um, I'll be describing input and print in terms of an exercise program. Uh, this exercise program can be used kind of like a sub-program to a much larger program that tracks someone's um, progress through their gym journey. So my sub-program is just going to ask an, a, the user to input uh, an exercise they did, how much weight they did, and for how many reps. And then I will basically print out their progress to them. So let's get started here. Um, to begin, I'm going to declare a variable. We'll call it exercise1. Exercise1. So uh, what I did here is I'm creating a variable, um, exercise1, and uh, I'm about to assign it to the input of whatever um, the user is about to input. But um, in order for the user to know what they need to input, um, within these parentheses of print, you could output something to the user. So a good practice is to use a string. So for our case, we're going to use a string. Um, with that being said, you don't have to use a string, you can um, use zero, but it'll just output a zero, and the user won't really know what to input. So for input, I'm going to use a string, so I'm going to put what, or not what, but which exercise, exercise did you do? Um, so then... Um, after this uh, line of code executes, um, what it will do, it will um, output to the user. So in the same way, this is kind of using print in a way, but this is um, kind of, they have uh, very similar ways of uh, working. So what this will do is it will print this out to the user, and uh, that's the only way that uh, the user will be able to know what to input. So we use a string. So which exercise did you do? Um, it'll output that to the user. The user is able to uh, type something, press enter, and then this variable will get assigned to whatever was input here. So, with that being said, um, I'll, I'll um, sorry, this is not supposed to be here. Okay, cleared that. So, I'll save this, control S it, and then I'll run it. So, now it's asking me which exercise did I do. Um, as you can see here, I can put something in here like bench press. But as you can see, um, it's not very clean. Uh, <clears throat> whatever the output was, um, my input's going to be pressed up against that. I mean, it'll still work. It'll still um, make exercise one. It'll still make it equal to bench press, the string. But um, so I could hit enter. It works just fine. But what I like to do is to make things a little cleaner, I could put a new line which is just a uh, backslash n within the string. So what this will do is it'll output uh, which exercises you do, and then it'll um, jump to the next line for the input. So it just looks a little cleaner. I'll, um, might have been a little complicated what I just said there, but um, how about I just show you guys. So I ran it again. As you can see now, I could put bench press in here. But it looks a lot cleaner. So uh, it outputted um, basically what I prompt the user. And then the input for the user will be down here more. So it just looks a lot cleaner. Press enter. Both ways work. Clear that. And um, here I'm looking for a string. Um, I, I mean, you could input anything because I didn't really declare what I wanted this variable to be. But just like this, you could treat this whole um, this whole thing right here. You could treat it as one big variable, and with that being said, is um, say if I'm looking for a string, I could put a string in here, or str, sorry about that, and put uh, parentheses around this whole thing. 
So now this whole thing is uh, for sure a string. Say if I put int here, which wouldn't make sense, but say if I did put int here, if the user input anything other than an integer, um, it would give them a um, error. So this is also a good way to make sure the user inputs um, whatever kind of variable type you're looking for. So um, yeah, we can do all the, um, our variables like that. So this is a good variable. So next we'll do weight. So we'll ask the user which weight. And weight, um, since we, there's half, so um, we can put a, we can make this a float. Uh, and then input, actually just to make things not so complicated, we'll just um, keep this string. We'll only do this for this variable, just to keep things uh, not so complicated, because this is not a variables um, lesson. So wait, um, we can ask the user input. We want an input from the user. So input um, for how much weight? And then uh, we could put LBS, just so they know it's not kilograms. Um, so for how much weight? And then a new line, good practice to do. Okay, so that variable is good. So for weight, um, so now we have a, an input for weight. So now we could get a user input for how much weight they did. And we could do uh, reps. Um, it's good to, you know, we could do one and one here. So we could keep this kind of consistent. So if there's other exercises, we can have different weights and different reps. So um, that's why I did that. Uh, we'll ask the user how much reps they did for how many reps, question mark. And then I'll do a new one as well. Okay. Save this, let's run it, make sure it, it works good. So we got a, uh, sorry about that, Python 3 input. So which exercise did you do? Bench, press, for how many weight, for how much weight? Uh, 225, because it's in pounds. Uh, for how many reps? Let's say I did three reps. Okay, so now we have uh, variables that are populated with um, values. So now with that being said, we could output all this to a user. So with uh, to output it back to a user, uh, it's print, because now we're just wanting to print something out to the user. We're not trying to get input from the user. So to do that, per, we could use print. Um, I'm going to use a string and uh, these variables in my print, but you can honestly put anything in here that um, you want to print out, like a zero. You could put a true. Um, you could put um, a float. And it would uh, print that out to the user, um, but we're going to use a string. So we could did, we, I mean, we could put um, that you did... Okay, so this is how you break a string um, and kind of uh, put these variables into here. Um, I want to say basically break a string because I don't think that's the correct way to, to phrase that. Um, I just want to put this variable within the string. So in order to do that, I'm going to put the string you did. And then I'm going to put um, a comma right here. And what that does, it kind of breaks up the sprint, uh, the string a little bit, and then I'm able to put a variable in here, exercise, exercise one. For some reason, I have a hard time spelling exercise. But, okay, so I broke it up the string. Let's uh, continue the string. So another comma. So let's continue the string. Um, so you did exercise one, so we put bench we could put bench press in there so you did bench press and then I could put four so so far okay so so far I have you did um, then the exercise that the uh, user is going to input I'm gonna put another comma and continue my string. So comma space to continue my string. You did bench press and then I'm gonna continue for, and then 
I'm gonna make a nice spring. Pull weight. Uh, so hold on. Okay, hold on. You did bench press. Okay, so now that we have uh, variables that we can output back to the um, user, um, let's do that. In order to do that, we can use print. Um, within within print, I mean within these parentheses of print, uh, you can output anything back to the user. So you can put anything in here: um, strings, uh, floats, integers. Um, so I'm gonna put a string because um, I kind of want to output this in terms of a sentence. So for string, I could put uh, you did, and if I want to put a variable within this uh, string for this print, I could put a comma, space, uh, my variable, exercise one, comma, and then I'm going to continue the string, you did exercise one, which I'm going to do bench press, um, at... So I'm going to put at my weight, so at um, weight 1, at the weight 225, for, and then I'm going to put 4, because then I'm going to output the reps now. Oops, 4, I'll put the reps, so reps 1. Um, and then I kind of want to, okay, so reps 1, and then um, let's save this and let's run it. So which exercises do bench press for how much weight two twenty five in pounds for how many reps three oh as we got an error rep one it's supposed to be reps one as you can see so that's fine we can just fix that reps one save that and we clear this to make it cleaner. <clears throat> All right, let's run it again. Which exercises you do? Bench press for how many weight? Two twenty-five pounds for how many reps? Three reps. You did bench press at two twenty-five for three reps. Oops, <laughs> I messed up again. I gotta put um, fix this up here. So for my print up here, I did four and I put reps. So it said 4, 3, but I need to include actually the string reps. So who we'll control S that to save it. Clear this. And one last time, let's run it again. So which exercise did you do? Bench press for how, for how much weight? 225. For how many reps? 3 reps. So you did bench press. Sorry. You did bench press at 225 for 3 reps. And um, so, yeah, that's a program that I just a little simple program that I uh, wrote just to um, describe input and output. Um, hopefully that made uh, plenty of sense. And I thank you guys for spending this time.